Welcome back and today we are going to look at uh, again a uh, past year paper year let me write down the date 2020 2020 uh, February paper February March paper variation 62 okay so let's see um, a student investigate the difference between two type of bin A and B okay so there are two type of bin A and B one is a big bin one is a small bin okay 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 measure the longest bin each bin and record your table your answer in table 1.1 1 .1. so so you measure it use a ruler of course and you measure it and you put in your answer so you uh, you just get correct lah huh? Uh, complete the heading of table 1 by adding the unit so just put the unit uh, mm mm up up to you lah uh, you can put cm okay mm or cm calculate the average length of each bin give your answer to an appropriate significant figure so the student didn't get any mark the reason is because actually he's supposed to get the mark but because he didn't put the unit so you, when you put 27, uh, I don't know whether that the student is referring to 27 cm or 27 mm. But uh, life is cruel, so um, just wrong lah because there is there's no unit. Like mathematics lah, huh? you didn't write unit means you straight away you get wrong. But never mind lah, one mark only, so just give him lah. Suggest why the average length of three bins is used instead of measuring the length of just one bin. Again, the answer is identify anomalies. So never mind lah, because um, previously we do one question like this also identify anomaly. Why you want to repeat it? Second time we also read that why you want to repeat to, to identify anomalies. So just 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 to write like that lah, because already two question asking the same thing. Plot a bar chart. Uh, so you get usually usually a few things you take note is the scale. The scale is correct one mark. The labeling is correct, one mark, and the point is correct, is one mark, three mark, but this question only two mark. So, so but, but make sure you just got the three. Lah. This one mark is for the correct plotting, number two is correct uh, unit, and also the axis. Okay, so it's correct. Lah. Suggest a different measurement the student can take in comparing the size. The answer is either the mass or the volume of the bin but the student write water displacement just now i i, I think and think then i just write uh i just put wrong lah, huh? because when we say that suggest a different measurement so suggest a different measurement so the different measurement that you must say is the mass or the volume of the certain thing of the bin for example but when we say water displacement because the question asked must suggest a uh, different measurement ma. so if the the student write water displacement so it's water displacement is a method uh, it's not a measurement so i just put that um, wrong uh, huh? but if the student write uh, water displacement to know the volume of the beam uh, then maybe and uh, then you will get correct okay so just then that apart from the size state one of the visible difference between the beam type of the beam shown in figure 1.1 1 .1, okay either pattern shape or color up to you okay so you get one mark for this one one of the type is crushed into five drop is crushed and five drops of iodine are added state the conclusion of the test test okay so basically you add what add iodine so iodine is to test starch so after you mix it you know it's a blue black so probably there is a starch while bean b does not okay uh, orange or brown uh, huh? sometimes iodine is the color is like orange brown describe how the student could test the bean the pressure of reducing sugar so we want to know whether the bean got reducing sugar or not uh the student get two points okay one point for using benedict solution one more point is to test reducing sugar we use benedict solution and it will turn to green or yellow so you get two point uh one more mark missing is heating you want to heat the bean uh that's the one more mark lah. the reason is uh, probably there is a cell wall cell wall that is protecting the bin so if you don't hit the bin there's a cell wall probably you put the uh bandanic solution there is no effect because the cell wall is still protecting your 
Benedict from penetrating the the thing, uh, the substance of the leaf, the cell of the leaf, so it won't work. So you want to hit it to break the cell wall so that uh, the thing can, uh, the Benedict solution can dissolve into it. Also for like, when we eat also we cook uh, vegetable, right? The reason also we want to make it is break the cell wall so it's more easier to digest. If you don't want to cook the vegetable also can, but it's more difficult for the person to digest. Up, see, see what tree we are talking about la. Sometimes like uh, uh, cucumber, we also still can eat it raw. It, it depends on the tree also la. Uh, number two, a student invested in reactivity of four metal G H J L. Okay, we are not going to read this, but we know that uh from the table below that this one you can read by yourself uh, you can pause and read by yourself um this one probably the most reactive law because here it says fast bubbling ma. so it's probably most reactive and this one is the least reactive because it's no bubbling maybe i don't know it could be gold it could be mercury it could be copper i don't know but um let, uh, let's see what he used first did he use uh he used acid yeah okay he use acid so acid with metal okay it will produce what so uh, um he's using acid and metal so acid plus metal will become salt and hydrogen gas you cannot say water ma, because uh water doesn't make sense when you say bubble but we know the gas is hydrogen. Then maybe I don't I don't know what the question might ask. You test the test the gas or what, but or write the equation or what. So but we know metal plus uh acid you will get salt plus uh hydrogen gas. But I I, I don't I don't want to write the equation and example of metal, huh? but I, I hope that you guys can understand because you need this to do your paper four and paper two also. The thermometer reading of metal j is shown so j is shown and you need to write it out so you get two point very good make sure you got right point five huh? here must is the compulsory point five and this one very good point zero so you get if you didn't write point zero you should really get zero mark for this also um yeah i do but this is the standard la. i don't know why they want me they want to write zero la because there is no thing but 31 is equal to 31.0 but I don't know the marking scheme say like that then we just follow lah okay um identify which one of the four metal jc is the most reactive so probably it is h because it's very fast bubbling bubbling and we can see there is a huge gap of temperature uh state two reason it has a higher change of temperature correct because it has very fast bubbling correct very good too much suggest how the experiment can be changed the risk and compare do not include repeat the experiment so you cannot write this so how can you improve the experiment so one of the way that we can improve the experiment is to add in the same amount of metal so it's, it's the the answer scheme is same amount of metal Okay, so it's same. Of course, you can say add more lah, huh? because when you add more, the the temperature will be more. So because you add more, but we need to be careful. We want to maybe what you can say add more amount of metal, um, equally to throughout the whole experiment towards then it make more sense because when we say add more then some you add more then it will be more heat and some you didn't add less so you want to say add more of metal equally throughout all the uh experiment but the answer here say same mass or volume of metal like, huh? as a constant variable also, also true also okay depend on how you want to uh, write in your answer um you you get what i mean huh? i hope you get what i mean huh? miss add the more amount of metal equally to all the towards the acid uh, then you can get mark uh. um, suggest what might happen here 
a lot of thing you can answer a lot a lot a lot of thing but like this one is not in the marking scheme place the metal close to something hot it's not in the masking scheme but i still give correct uh, because here here I put avp means um any answer that relate lah the preferable answer is misread of thermometer or temperature recorded late because you you put then you only record or maybe you misread the thermometer this is the answer scheme lah but uh, any other answer also is correct okay as long as it is reasonable place the metal close to something hot by accident the student thinks that the gas form in the vessel is hydrogen yes it's hydrogen because we know that metal plus acid you will get salt plus hydrogen gas so of course that hydrogen you get like with a simple positive result you will get a pop so how to test oxygen how about oxygen flowing wooden split and what is the observation uh fire appears <laughs> okay the fire occur anything like huh? fire rekindle how about carbon dioxide? Lime water. And what happened to the lime water? Turns milky. Okay, lime water turns milky. Okay, I, I, I don't know the question. This, these are the few lah. A few tests that you need to know. Of course, you need to know how to test. And then the next step is to test uh, sugar you use per day, to test starch, to test protein you use myelin, to test the oil. Then after that, there's a more, another a few more tests for correct or not. To test uh, copper, to test uh, iron 2, iron 3, to test magnesium. Uh, that one is another chapter. So th these are the few testing of um, thing that you need to know to test what thing is it. Hmm. B, the student place in the depth in the copper sulfate into each test tube. A small amount of G in the test tube, the test is in the L. So, add metal H in the second test tube, metal J in the third test tube. So, they put in the test tube, uh, they, what, they, may, they put it into copper sulfide. So, maybe just now they use, uh, they use acid to test, correct or not? Miss more bubble, more reactive, less bubble, less reactive. Now, they use it with copper. Um, did he say his he didn't mention his uh, um, aim of the experiment uh, because when we do experiment we want to know the aim what you want to investigate he didn't mention but he said um, put the copper sulfide and what happened wait leave it for 15 minutes so after leave it for 15 minutes uh, the observation for G H J L the the solution turned colorless and pink from our uh, first pink form is the Salt lah, huh? the solution turn pale and pink form. The salt is formed, so then stay the same, and the pink matter remains. Okay, table two point one predict the observation of H. So the answer is the solution turn colorless and the pink solid is formed. Why? Because we know that H is most reactive. So we look at uh the here. Okay, H is more reactive and followed by G. So since it's already G is already like this, so it will be the solution turn colorless. Huh? Uh, I, I hope that you understand huh? because you need to refer to the question up there. Explain your answer is TVH is most reactive metal among all the other metal, correct? Very good. Uh, arrange it according to the bubble. Do, 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 do. You get all correct, you get one mark. Very good. Number three, a student determine the pendulum of the T. Okay, so they, they swing the pendulum and she repeat it with two more time probably to uh to check for anomalies result uh anomalies like the weird result lah. explain why the sun measure in the time oscillation 20 percent rather than just one oscillation okay the answer here is one oscillation is too quick okay one oscillation is too quick Okay, uh, wait, this one, this one I have a mark, wait, I'm looking for the answer. Okay, uh, table two, table 3.1, the time is the nearer to 0 0.01 for 20 oscillation of the pendulum. So, uh, you do, 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 you get the answer here, okay? 26.43, 1.32 divided by the 20. 
So twenty six point four three. You need to write four three, yeah. If you write four two, then you straight away will get wrong, ah, uh, because uh, mathematics you know lah, huh? Because it is uh, you need to round off the six. The six is big, so it will be forty three. Twenty six point four three. Uh, calculate the average of t from the student result. So the average from t is one point three two. Okay, same lah, huh? one point three two because this will be the average of the t. Okay, average of time for one oscillation one point three two. Describe the student can use a piece of white card and a thin black wire to draw the improve the accuracy. Okay, the student can use the card to place behind the pendulum. And you can see it okay at the finish point very good. So you get two point. Number four show a beam. A beam is balanced by the mass opposite at the center. Then you want to put the mass here and uh, mass B is having a mass. Okay, now this is the important point. Plan and investigation to find out the distance from mass B and pivot when the beam is balanced depend on its mass so probably there, there's investment to measure the distance b and the pivot and the mass the mass that of course if you put less more heavier you can go nearer to the pivot and um, if further apart it will go further from the pivot p pivot lah pivot pivot in your plan include this equation uh, ensure how you want to do the experiment so again you, you, you imagine lah, huh? okay first I want to get a different mass then I try to measure the distance then I after I get all the data I want to um, draw out a, a graph or, 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 or a table and so on so I didn't copy out the marking scheme but but here is roughly what the student did okay by using different mass B, place it until there, so you get one mark. Then measure the distance of mass B and the pivot, you get one mark. Repeat it with different mass and compare it, you get one mark. Make sure now is a safety measure, okay? Make sure you are looking at the problem clear to get accurate result, one mark. This example of the changing of mass, you get one mark. This one you need to refer to the marking scheme. Lah. And if your mass is more than 50 gram, you get one mark. So this is more of a gram, so you get six mark. Another mark is given for the yeah, let me check for the draw a best fit curve line, okay? But that's why I write here graph is prefer, okay? A best fit curve line, but never mind lah, the soon draw a table, it should be enough. So total you get one, two, three, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Wait now, just let me take a snapshot of the answer. Uh wait now. So this is the marking scheme. Uh, so I just follow lah, huh? what the student right here. I just follow the point because the, just now the student got mentioned about uh, the student got mentioned about uh, repeat the experiment. The, the, the student got say value of mass more than 50 at least three value of mass so is given by the student uh set up it measure it from the distance move back b until back this one also mentioned by the student and then at last the student say a table oh can 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 oh because the student got right table correct okay and then one more point is for the uh graph also so maybe you can draw two up to you lah but the student already did seven very good so you already the student already get seven point which is the max marks for the question so here you can see there are many marks you can get. Uh, you can write maybe 8 to 10 points so that you can get a full mark for this question. Okay, so that's it. Thank you.